Oh yeah! You know what time it is, Jake? Hey, I think it's time for another IT Weekly. I was gonna say it's summertime, but <laughs> yes, it is time. I'd like to welcome for everyone you. else who's listening. Oh, it's yeah, summertime. If anybody's paying attention, I'm not sure. Anyway, we can cut that out, right? The paying attention part. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd like to welcome you to the summer edition of IT Weekly, our first summer edition. We took a break last week, a much week. needed break. I don't know if Jake took a break. No, I didn't take oh, a break. Sorry to hear that, man. But uh, I'm Tim Smith. I'm Jake Standish. And today we'd like to take a moment and give you a quick rundown of what is going to be expected of our presentations that are being given at the 2011 Instructional Technology Conference. That is right. So uh, let's begin with some quick background info that on the, uh, the conference. So uh, start off, it is August 2nd and 3rd, 2011. That is a Tuesday and Wednesday. Well, Tuesday and Wednesday. Of uh, the week, it'll be a good time. Hey, do you know, I forgot to ask, what time? Like, is it 8 to 9, 8 to 3? Uh, registration is uh, actually between 8 and 9, and it okay. goes to about 3 o'clock. All believe. right, so sounds good. We'll have the, the full details online okay. where you're viewing this uh, podcast, actually. Sweet. Um, credits, you can get them through my PD. It's one CEU for coming to both days of the conference. And um, you can look it up in my PD as TEC SU11 Instructional Technology Conference, or if you just search conference, you will find what you are looking for. Um, on the wiki, you can find us by just typing in your, your web browser, the URL j.mp forward slash CMSIT conference. Wow, Jake, you are like an information machine. <laughs> that I am. I have one more bit to add to oh, that. Oh, whoa. This Twitter hashtag. Sweet. We will be uh, sending out tweets about this. If you okay. do a search, uh, the hashtag is CMSITCon. Wow, Jake, you're like an information machine. Yes, I'm cool like that, Tim. <laughs> Seems like somebody... <laughs> you can't do this. <laughs> I'm okay. No, you're not. Okay. I'm composed. Seems like somebody's writing your lines. Anyway, currently we have some areas of interest of focus. I didn't write that very well. Uh, in this conference, there are some areas that we're focusing on, and uh, the bigger idea of these areas and to share with you today about these areas is to get you start thinking about the sessions that you want to go to. Mm -hmm. We're not going to break down the sessions exactly today, we're just going to talk about the main ideas. Those main ideas, we're going to be talking about hardware, 21st century learning skills, and Web 2.0 applications. Uh, we've got a track for administrators and a group of uh, CMS Technology Services, the larger group that we are a part of. Yeah, but wh why don't you go ahead and break it down us, <laughs> Jake. That's it. You, you actually have it here that I'm supposed to be beatboxing, beatboxing. right now? Beatboxing! Isn't that a... Yeah. No, okay. I don't think we're going to have Tim write the scripts <laughs> anymore for these. Jake, I was expecting more of a breakdown, like, tell us a little more. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I can do that. Yeah, we're going to look at interactive whiteboards. There'll be several sessions on both Smart and Promethean. There'll be some sessions that actually span both. Uh, Devices just explaining good practices with interactive whiteboards. Uh, student response systems, both the smart and uh, Promethean brands of those, the, the clicker technology. Uh, we'll be discussing laptops, cool. tablets, I, iPads. Ooh, iPads. So there's going to be a couple sessions on iPads? There will hopefully. be some sessions on iPads. You may even right. be able to touch one and see how they work and Sweet. kind of get to know them a little cool. bit. Cool. Um, the Nova Science Probeware devices for both uh, middle and high school. Uh, if you're at a middle or high school, you probably have this some equipment, Nova some, equipment somewhere. Yeah. And um, also looking at cell phone technology in some of the sessions. So uh, cool. looking at devices, that's those are the, the different that's things. That's kind of the hardware have. section. That's kind yeah. of cool, and uh, it's definitely some neat stuff and how to use it in the classroom. Yes, I'm it. looking forward to some of that fun stuff. We're also going to be uh, looking at some 21st century learning skills that include Web 2.0 tools. Some of the topics that have been uh, broached already have been blogs and wikis and Twitter and podcasts and Glogster and Edmodo, Discovery Education. A lot of those people use, but maybe they don't use them to the fullest potential. Kerpoof, Moodle, um, another exciting concept I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking forward to going to. I'm actually not doing, but it's on creating comics. The list goes on. Digital storytelling. It's it's huge all. digital yep. storytelling. Uh, the huge abundance of 21st century learning skills that focus on creating content, collaborating, and organizing all the resources that we have. 
Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of stuff for people to uh, attend. We even have special tracks for uh, administrators uh, addressing overall uh, services of CMS technology and uh, different areas that instructional technology can support the schools. Uh, so we'd really like to see some administrators out there uh, checking that stuff out. Um, we'll also be looking at the all the, the areas of technology services from the help desk or the operations people to our information systems and support hardware purchasing folks, uh, yeah. student processes. Cool. I, everyone will be, be here helping out, uh, giving some information about what's It sounds available. like there's definitely something for everyone. Yes, there is. Now, on this uh, conference, is it already full? It is filled, So, but... But what? What should I do? Even there, if it is full? If, if you, I told you to go register through my PD. You can still do that. It'll say it's full. It'll put you on a waiting list. Sweet. We'll let you in. We'll get you there. Did you just say we'll let you in? We're, we're, Dude, we're, what we're, if the waiting list is like 500? You just yeah. promised them they would be let in. People, please get your friends together that are CMS employees and get them registered so that Jake here will have to shave his head. Because I think that's oh. what he said. He said he would shave his head if we can get 500 people. That's oh. only 300 more. Or do you want 500 above? 500 above, so 700. 700 people, all right. There's the gauntlet has been thrown. Oh, there's water in that. We shouldn't throw that in here. The gauntlet's been thrown down. Um, I can't promise Jake's going to shave his head. That's, that's, a, that's a big... I'll shave my head. How about that? <laughs> Might be needed by then. At any rate, uh, you know, it seems like uh, there's a lot. If you still have an idea that you would like to present and it fits any of those areas of instructional technology, we would love to have you come and share those ideas with us. So there's openings. Go to the uh, Jump CMS IT Conference website, which is on the screen, and you can fill out the... Uh, the form, the form, the presentation form. So that's that. This is just a quick highlight of what's going to be happening at the 2011 Instructional Technology Conference. Look for uh, more information in the coming weeks. In the this coming week, weeks, yep. Present more specifically on different conferences or presentations at the conference, as well as some uh, additional things that we have in mind yeah. for. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. You can happening. call us anytime. We're here. All yes, day. we are.